The butternut, otherwise known as the white walnut, is a native species of the eastern forest. The butternut tree gets its name from its delicious buttery nuts. The butternut is a species of walnut. Although it may be similar to the black walnut in appearance, you can tell the difference in the bark and the leaves. In addition to those distinct differences, the nut of a butternut tree is more of an elongated shape, while the walnut is round. Butternut trees began to produce fruit 7 to 10 years after planting. A lot like the black walnut, the butternut tree requires full sun to grow healthy. The butternut tree is a medium-sized species of tree, growing up to 40 to 60 feet tall, trunk diameters on average from 1 to 2 feet. Unlike its walnut counterpart, it has a lower life expectancy. On average, butternut lifespan is under 100 years. Unlike the butternut, the black walnut can live to 250 years and beyond. Walnut trees also tend to grow a lot taller. Many animals love the sweet, oily, rich nuts. Notably, mice, squirrel, and many other species of animals relied on it. Butternuts were collected and eaten by Native Americans and early settlers, who also valued butternut for its workable medium brown-colored wood, and as a source of medicine, dyes, and sap sugar. The American Indians had some interesting uses for the butternut. The fresh nuts were crushed and boiled, served as either baby food or a drink. Unlike its walnut counterpart, butternut is actually not a very strong wood. It may not be strong like the walnut, but it makes beautiful cabinetry and furniture. The butternut tree was once a common tree in the eastern forest. Sadly, tragedy struck the eastern forest again. In 1967, butternut canker was found in Wisconsin. From there, the plague began to spread, wiping out the butternuts in its path. Butternut canker is not a native disease. How butternut canker was brought here is unknown, but what is known is that it came from Asia. Just goes to show how dangerous importing wood from other countries is. The butternut fungus causes cankers to form on the trunk, branches, and exposed roots. The cankers girdle the tree, leading to its eventual death. Where we stand today, butternut canker has killed up to 80 to 90 percent of butternut trees in some states. The butternut tree has been labeled endangered. Their surviving trees tend to be found close to streams and rivers. Surviving butternut trees benefit from better sites rather than disease resistance. I would say they are not as rare as American chestnut trees, but butternut trees are very hard to find in the wild and day by day it gets worse. I personally know of a few survivors. Here are some pictures of one of them. Hoping this fall to collect some nuts from the butternut trees, maybe start a new breeding project. Kind of like with the American chestnut, breeding of the butternuts has begun. Hopefully breeding the strongest survivors will produce good results. If something isn't done, the butternut will most likely go extinct. Sadly, pretty much already has in the wild. Right now the American chestnut has a much stronger future ahead of it than the butternut tree. The future is uncertain for the survival of the butternut tree. We must act fast to save this iconic species. The best bet to save this species would be genetic engineering. Hope they act fast before it's too late. Thank you guys so much for watching this documentary. I was supposed to have this done weeks ago but I kind of procrastinated, but here you have it today. I did my best, hope it isn't like too rushed, but I mean, I couldn't stretch it out. There's less information about the butternut tree than there is the American chestnut or other types of tree species. The ash tree, there's a lot of information on, and the American chestnut, there's a lot of information on, but the butternut, there's less information on it, and I couldn't really find like too big of efforts to save the tree. Obviously, someone needs to get to work on that. Um, sorry for the lack of content. Hopefully I can get more videos out soon. Hopefully this video hits the algorithm and you guys enjoy it. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to share this video if you enjoyed it. Drop a like, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it electrified. I'll see y'all later.